Hi everybody, it is November 18, 2017. I caught that earlier today in Anderson, South Carolina. There were two military jets. Right before those jets appeared, I heard the most bizarre rumbling noise. I walked outside, my neighbor said, what was that? Well, I don't know, but then these military jets appeared. There were two of them. I couldn't capture the other one. And I couldn't look up into the screen because it was too white. But this was yesterday. This white blob I see floating around the sky and I'm trying to zoom in on it, trying to figure out what the hell is that. All right, so I have slowed it down. I still don't know what it is. It disappeared, literally, just vanished from sight. And the red, the green, the white flashing about, I was wondering if it was a satellite. There are a lot of interesting things happening in our sky. Too bad we have so many who don't look up. So yeah, this was the sky at about 5 o'clock yesterday, November 17, in Anderson, South Carolina. And what, people look at this and think, it's normal? The camera going in and out of focus, I say this a lot, these pulsating frequencies, you can see it, they're visible when the camera goes in and out of focus. Pulsating frequencies, very, very dangerous to all life, affecting every cell, in our body, in the four-legged bodies, and it is damaging those cells, bringing about an awful lot of medical problems, spiritual problems, emotional problems, mental problems. Can't believe that this is what we are forced to live in, an incredibly dangerous, toxic environment. The black well, it suddenly got warm again here. Black carbon dust can be used to heat up the atmosphere. Um, the pulsating frequencies, even on clear days when there is no cloud substance in the sky at all. If you look very closely, you can see the ripples and the ripples in the sky. That is a clear signature evidence of microwaves. At the end of this video, when I stop talking, you're going to listen to Barry Trower. This is a long pulse of a microwave frequency. But you're going to listen to Barry Trower tell you how they use these microwave frequencies as a stealth weapon. I posted a video a couple of days ago telling you how I was feeling, saturated in Wi-Fi, both neighbors on both sides of me have Wi-Fi, uh, but it doesn't matter. The saturation is full now. You go outside, you're still saturated in Wi-Fi and microwave frequencies. Is it a wonder that our population has become so sick? But look at this. How can anybody see this as a normal cloud, really? Just going around Anderson, South Carolina, there is so much evidence of our world has become rather trippy, rather weird. Sky's not right. Trees aren't right. Trees are dying. It's a, it is unbelievable how people are not seeing what is happening. You don't have to take my word for it. Listen to this expert tell you how dangerous our environment is today with these microwaves. Joined the Royal Navy uh, in 1960 and I specialized in microwave warfare. Uh, radar, obviously, which uses microwave. But they don't just teach you radar, they teach you all about microwaves and other uses. So I understood about microwave warfare and how it can damage people, how it can harm people. Uh, a small part of my job was to question captured 
agents, spies, terrorists, because microwaves then were used as weapons, as they are today. It is a, a perfect stealth weapon. And when governments don't like a group of people, for instance, the, the ladies who protest at Greenham Common in England about the American missile base they camped, they were microwaved. We microwaved Catholics in Northern Ireland to make them sick. Uh, it, it goes on all over the world. And it's a weapon that you don't know you're being targeted because the dose is very, very low, which is actually more dangerous than a high dose. It's very, very low, and it may take a year or two, but you can, you can cause neurological damage and cancers with low-level microwaves, and you can make all your opponents sick. It, it's a perfect weapon for a government 